Hello everybody, we're here today to make you a lovely chicken satay. It's the morning of Australia's first game in the 2014 World Cup. We've just got beaten by Chile 3-1. I thought our blokes were terrific and the other one were just too good in the end. There's nothing like supporting your country at a football World Cup. Absolutely fantastic. It's a, still a real thrill and honour. Mary Lee, let's pan over here and have a look at our ingredients. So we've got today, ladies and gentlemen, our extra virgin olive oil from Moro, as always. Capsicum, two different types of onions. Some chicken breast, but it's been partially defrosted, so it's easy to cut. Minced garlic. Pepper, salt, parsley. This is Taylor's Thai satay sauce. It's got a bit of kick to it. We're not adding any extra chili today. You'll see that there's none in the in the ingredients. It's got a bit of spice to it, and some chives from Merrily's garden. The first thing I'm going to do is cut up this chicken and show you how easy it is once it's just been microwaved. All right. So as I said, it's just been defrosted for a couple of minutes. Watch this. It's easy to cut. Okay, so I'm going to get in here. These are reasonably fine cuts. This isn't a long cook today. So down through here, and this is basically all you've got to do is trim that fat off there, over here. I won't show you the whole thing, but I will give you a start. Have a look at the size of that dice. It's very nice and thin. Really, can we just show people there? See this, guys? Have a look at the, that. I'm trying to make a consistent size cut here. Again, there's the frozen chicken that makes it nice and easy to cut. All right, I'll cut this one bit of the chicken fillet out just to show you. But I'm trying to make a consistent size piece of chicken to make it easy to cook and so that it cooks evenly. Okay, so have a look at that there. I will cut through the rest of it, but if I could just show you to the camera. There's the size, there's the width. Okay, there's my, my little finger. It's not very big. It's not a very big cut. Nice and fine. We'll come back to you shortly after I've cut up the chook. I'm also going to cut up these vegetables. Back to you in a minute. Righto, so I've got my hand, um, you can just see the smoke coming out of that, I've got the pan nice and hot, so in with the extra virgin olive oil from Moro. Alright, nice, that's going to heat up nice and quickly there, because the uh, pan is nice and hot. Just swirl that around, get that all over the pan for myself. Okay, again, the trick I learned from watching Chefies again, nice heap teaspoon of garlic, but do that off the heat over here. that around a bit. Straight in with our capsicum, onion, chives, two different types of onions, chopped up nicely. Straight in. Beautiful. World record, I only missed one a bit early. What's going on? <laughs> okay. The advantages of cooking in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, when you haven't had a glass or two of red. Okay, so. I'll saute that away. Now you can see the size of all the cuts in there. It's reasonably nice. Nice and easy. Just a simple regular, regulation saute of this. Come back to you when that's cooked away and then we'll add the chook. Okay, have a look at that. It's here it's uh, sizzling away there. Our, uh, our onions and capsicum have sauteed away. Trying to add the chicken that we've done in a fine dice. Or a fine dice, a thin cut anyway. Just straight in with the chicken. No mucking around. Okay, next thing to do is to get this chicken white, okay? So I'm gonna try and seal that chicken. That won't take too long. Uh, what I'll do while I'm here, however, is add some par parsley. Fair amount, there's quite a bit of chicken in there. Some salt. And some pepper. You'll see I gave that a fair crack of pepper and back off the salt. The, um, the pepper in this is lovely. It mixes with the sauce beautifully well. Okay, so I'll come back to you shortly. You can see I'm just going to get this chook white and then we'll add the, the uh, satay sauce for you. Right, I have a look here. Chicken's done. White, it's all sealed. Ready to rock and roll with the sauce. Okay, look that, look that through just to show you. Only taking a few minutes. Not, not very hard when the chicken's cut nice and fine. Okay, so straight in with the sauce. Okay, just a little trick I learned. I actually think from Merrily. I was just going to say, add a bit of water. Add a bit of water. <laughs> Shake that's, it that's, up. That's your, that's your trick. Of... Get every bit of juice out of that bottle. Alright, here you go with that. So, the bottle's nice and clean now. Okay. Wash the hands for the big fella. Now, over here. And just swish this through.
already. I just love that sort of stuff. Mm. That's how, the Taylor sauce you think is magic, isn't it? Yeah, there's two different types of Taylor sauce, but both are excellent. Okay, the idea is to get this, the, all the chicken and the vegetables covered with and coated with that sauce nice and thoroughly. The one that we're using is a little bit spicier than the other jar of Taylor's satay sauce. Yeah. Should have more chilli, but anyway, they're really soft, so that's another matter, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now, normally, we just bring that to the boil, but if, as you can see, because our pan's nice and hot, you can see that that is already boiling, okay? Nice and hot, very simple. Down here, merrily, to the control. Just on the simmer, I'm going to let that simmer for about half an hour to 35 minutes. Is that about right, Mez? Uh, probably only 20. 20, 25 with extra chicken. So there you go. Say, say simmer 20 to 30 minutes and she's done. So that's our satay chicken. We will come back to you when that's done to show how much that's thickened, okay? Bye-bye. Right, everybody, our chook's been cooked for about 25, 30 minutes. Have a look how beautiful and thick and uh, gorgeous that sauce is. Really, the smell is absolutely beautiful. Always is. It's a no-brainer, this Taylor satay sauce. Absolute winner. As you can see, the chicken's all cooked through nicely. Have a look at that. Take the pit off for you. It's just, uh, you know, look at that. Lovely. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. So that's our satay Thai chicken. We've added no chilli to that. It's got onions and capsicum and garlic in it. Lovely, simple, easy dish to make. Tastes fantastic. And we'll serve it on a bed of rice. As always. Take care all. See you soon.